Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is what every editor needs to do before they start a project. All right, I created this one because I've listened to a lot of questions and it's obvious to me that a lot of new editors aren't really starting in the right place. And God forbid you got stuff on your freaking desktop. That's the worst place to start. So, before you even launch Adobe Premiere Pro, we're going to go to the desktop, to Windows Explorer, to the Mac Finder, and create a series of folders. There's a very important reason we're gonna do that first, and I'll show you in a second. So here I am on my, I have an external disk that I'm connected to, and I'm going to start my project here. I'm gonna create a new folder, and I'll call it my project. So everything is in that folder, everything that I want. Every bit of video, audio, uh, graphics, notes that I wanna keep, they're all in here. So I don't just dump everything in here. I've got a project folder, I open that and gee, what would be the first one? How about a video folder? All right, so we'll create a video folder. And there's a good chance you need some kind of organization in there. I'll open that one up. And for me, I'm always recording on Camtasia recording down here and my Blackmagic Cinema camera here. So I'm always, I have a screen recording and the Blackmagic that I drop in. If I'm doing stuff out of here in production on location, then I have one for my Blackmagic, another one for my 5D. Maybe you've got drone footage, you've got um, DSLR footage or all of these different cameras. How about make a folder for each camera? Or if you're doing a production over multiple days, how about make folders for each day? That makes sense. Let's do that. So I'll create day one folder and a day two folder. And each one of those would have all the cameras uh, and all the video. Okay, let's go back out to um, our project and create one for audio inside there let's do one for dialogue maybe you're doing secondary sound another one for music okay let's open let's go back up and how about graphics got titles graphics logos photos inside there create a new folder one for photos one for logos and maybe you know you want to separate these into PNG and JPEG or layered Photoshop files. If this is a project where I am doing a bunch of graphic work and I'm working with Photoshop files, then I'll have a separate folder of layered PSD files and a separate folder of, of JPEGs if I needed to export those out. Because Premiere Pro can work with uh, native Photoshop files, I'll probably just leave them as PSDs. The, the next thing is, importing stuff in from your card. And, and this is an obvious one that some people miss is that inside Premiere Pro, you look for a command called G, I don't know, import, and you think that they, the files went from here into Premiere Pro, they didn't. The files are linking to here. So you need to move them into your computer. This is no different than you just went out and shot a bunch of photos and you want to edit them. You're not going to leave them on the cart. So you can move them on the cart, move them on the computer. At the end of this, I'll put a link to my Prelude rename import um, tutorial. Prelude is part of Creative Cloud and it will allow you to bring these in, automatically rename them, very smart idea, and place them and copy them and guarantee that the copy made its way in. You can also use Adobe Bridge for this um, to bring them in, but you've got to bring them into the, the, the computer. So I would just plug this in, they would show up and I would move them to that video folder. So here is a bunch of files that um, I would normally rename these, but if I bring these in as my 5D files and drag them in and copy them. Okay, so now they're moving in from the card 
And a great rule is to always have uh, backups to the backups. You should be backing up at least two places. Uh, three places uh, is preferable. Three places definitely for your project files, but I digress. So now that we've had all of our folders, and by the way, you need to put stuff in those folders for this next step to work. If you try to bring empty folders into Premiere Pro, they won't work. If you have one thing in a folder, it'll bring in the folder as a bin, that's what they're called in Premiere Pro, and it'll bring the thing in at the same time. And the organizational uh, technique that happens instantly in, in the next step is probably gonna blow your mind if you're new to this. This is so much easier to work with. And if you have an unruly project file where you just have everything willy-nilly just stopped in, you know who you are. And you know that after you get about 20, 30 things, or man, if you're up to 100 things, try to find your way around that is a huge problem. All right, so we have everything moved in to our folders. We have our graphics, audio, video files. Now let's go into Premiere Pro. So in Premiere Pro, we'll create a new project and we'll locate that folder. So I'm gonna go out to my folder, my project, and a little added benefit, this is a Windows thing. I can actually select this and copy that name and I can paste that in there on the Mac. You just have to type that in and I'm, I'm putting it in the project. Every single one of my shows starts the exact same way um, where I will create a folder for the name of the show and I will have a folder in there of black magic footage, a folder of Camtasia screen captures and then the project is in the folder too. So everything is organized. Now let's look at the project. If we go to the media browser and find that same location. So there's my project. And there is the, uh, there's the audio folder, the graphics folder, the video folder. I obviously don't want to bring the project in. So if I hold down my control key on Windows Command on the Mac, you can select any group. You can also sort this way a little bit easier and find them that way. But if I select all three of those, right click and choose import, watch what happens. Now let's go to my project. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Everything is organized. I'm just gonna open that up. Done, finished, organized, completely. So there you go. Isn't that so much easier? One import in and all of my bins are created. Of course, I can add new bins. I can delete, move things around any way I want in Premiere Pro, but it's such a great way to start. This so much is already organized for me. And there's a good chance you're gonna have audio, graphics, and video folders every single time. So just uh, start that way and it works great. It's important to note that there is no more of a connection between the folders are, that are in Premiere Pro and the desktop. That if you change the name of a folder on, on the desktop, it's not gonna rename here, it's just gonna break the link of that. Uh, so add new folders here, add new folders to the desktop and import them, uh, but they are now two separate things that you have gotta work that way, but still a really powerful thing. And remember to import your stuff from your cards into those folders and then organize them as you want. All right. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. Hopefully you found this informative. If you want to support us a little bit uh, more, why don't you join us over on Patreon for as little as one little dollar a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you organized and stop putting stuff on your desktop.